this is Matt from the Vest Squad. Today is Thursday, July 15, 2021. Today, the markets gap down and we have kind of consolidated in a range for the majority of the session. Made a few attempts higher, did not quite uh, make much of a break beyond those early morning highs. And we are now starting to roll over and sitting at the lows as I record this video. Uh, this morning we looked at what has happened historically on this day before the July OPEX um, session, which would be tomorrow. And it had shown that historically it has been a bit of a weaker session um, that's starting to play out here. And that's that's a little uncharacteristic for the day before options expiration day, which was what was interesting to me about it in July for whatever reason. I have no idea why it's been uh, weaker. If you know, Put it in the comments. I'd love to learn. Uh, or maybe maybe it's nothing. I don't know. You guys can tell me if you if you know. But what we're going to look at this afternoon is what has happened on the end of the session on this July options expiration day before session or day before the options expiration session. So let me go ahead and get a setup. Uh, the setup we're going to be looking at is using all four instruments, entering the market long at 3.15 p.m. Eastern time and exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern time. And the only thing we're going to add to this, we're going to skip over all of these libraries, go down to the calendar and say that today is the month of July. So active today, I'm going to go there. I'm going to click on July. Next, I'm going to go into the market events, and in the day before market events, I'm going to say it is the day before options expiration. I can either scroll down and grab it, or I can just click right there on active today. Boom, it has been added. This is what we're looking at. So let me go ahead and hit view results. And here we go. These are the results based upon entering the market long at 3.15 p.m. Eastern Time, exiting at 4.15 p.m. Eastern Time, when it is the day before the July options expiration. We've got 18 samples to look at here historically, and that's dating back to 2003. And win rates on these, kind of similar to what we saw this morning. Uh, so the S&P coming in 39%, the Nasdaq's 50-50 there, uh, Dow coming in 39%, Russell the weakest, 28%. So uh, that same bias off the open looks like it's still there later in the afternoon as well. If we take a look at the average win, average loss, average loss, a little bit larger there in the S&P, that is also the case for the Nasdaq and the, the Russell. The Dow is the only one that has a larger average win. So I think that's how it worked out this this morning, there was one of them that had a larger average win than average loss, and the rest of them uh, were either similar in size, a little bit larger on the downside. And again, the win rates skewed more towards the downside in the afternoon. So hopefully you found that helpful. Good luck today, and we will see you tomorrow.